Hey guys, so I have a, well, a great old big old bag full of empties and um, I was gonna wait a while, but I'm like, no, I'm just gonna go ahead and share it now with you guys and get this mess over with because it's piling up and it needs to be out of here. So it's all like kind of piled up together. So I'm just gonna grab it and go put it in this food city bag here. Uh, but anyway, so one of the like my all-time favorite body washes is by this caress and it's the um evenly gorgeous this stuff is amazing it's um for gorgeous radiant skin with burnt brown sugar um it just smells lovely it's like um it kind of reminds me of dark kiss from bath and body works and it's just great um the smell is awesome and it makes your skin feel really soft and stuff so I highly recommend this. Just got out of the shower because we went uh, swimming and laid out, like I laid out in the sun, got a little bit of tan, not too much, but I'm burning up. It was super hot out there. Um, this juicy green apple, this is just the cheapo suave. It's pretty good stuff. Um, I've always liked those. Uh, let's see here, any more? Oh. I've got this uh, honey almond by Nola. Um, hand soap we had these um a while back lord like last year or so from dollar tree can't remember it's might have been longer than that but these things are really good they smell really good work really good and i liked it and i love the packaging on there it's pretty they had these at dollar tree and at big lots <clears throat> Sometimes I see these at Burke's. You can still get these at Burke's. So if y'all have a Burke's, y'all need to go look for it and give it a whirl and see if you like it. Let me know if you like it or not. Um, I've used these multiple times. It's the Good and Clean um, Disinfectant Wipes. And this one's the Lemon Scented. These you can get at Dollar Tree for a dollar. Highly recommend these. Quick and easy. Clean up your countertops, bathroom, whatever you want to do with it. Um, and you get 30 of them in here. So, I use these all year round. Um, I got some of this carpet. Um, love my carpet carpet stuff because it was cinnamon and like apple cinnamon is my all-time favorite. So, <clears throat> this was okay. I don't in particular like this stuff to put on your carpet just because it just feels weird. I mean, even if you vacuum it, it just kind of, I don't know. But I figured I'd give it a try since it was apple cinnamon. It smelled really good though. This stuff don't last long, so you'd have to have a couple of, you know, bottles of it if you have a huge, like, floors and stuff. Uh, let's see here. What else we got? Oh, this is the apple and cinnamon, um, gel from, or body, or shower gel from Dollar Tree. This stuff was pretty good. If I see this, I would repurchase it. Um, it's not one of the scents that you would just, like, go to every time, just every now and again, because it kind of will dry your skin out. Um, but I did like it. <clears throat> Smelled really good. Real cinnamony like. Um, the next thing is this Dove powder um, deodorant. This is like one of my favorites as well. Um, powder Fresh is my favorite scent from for that. Um, this perfume from Bath & Body Works is like my favorite like so far. Like this past two months i've used it and used it and used it but it's the white um body spray from bath and body works and it says um graceful and radiant this stuff just smells so good it smells different um i don't know really how to describe it it smells kind of musky uh flowery just smells like a, I don't know, just something that, you know, real lady like. It just smells really good. Um, I like it. There's still a little bit of this left, but I figured I'd go ahead and share it since I had the spray. Um, but it really don't give a definition of the smell. But it's the white cosmic, and this stuff's really good. If I find any more of this, I will definitely repurchase it because it was awesome. I wore it for like two months. Um, another one of my favorites, this is the Aquamarine. Now, this one's more of the, um, it's ocean, the, the fragrance notes in this is ocean water, mint leaf, and whetstone. Man, my allergies are giving me a fit right now. But this one's more of like a musky, 
kind of like a manly smell like you know it's got that perf perfume or cologne smell oh my lord i just love it um and there's some in, I'm in here left so you know what Get y'all some of this. Spray on, guys. Spray on. It smells so good. Oh, my heavens. Spray on. So, there's that. Um, now, I won this through work. This is the Summer Delights. It's the Essential Oils um, air freshener thing. I was sitting down um, on my couch last week when I had first put this in, and I kept smelling something that smelled like wine. Like, I'm serious. It smelled like a good, fresh cup of, like, either red wine or muscadine wine. I'm like, what in the world? Is there a cup back behind here or something that has wine in it or something? It smelled like fresh wine. Um, just lovely smell, like berries, you know, real, real good smelling. So I looked over here behind the couch. I said, well, Lord, that ain't it. Well, I'm like, okay, whatever. I don't know what it is. So I had got ready or something and was going out the door. And I looked over here. I was like, oh, it was this. So if y'all want something that smells kind of wine-ish and like that smells really good, like this smells so good. It smells like flowers. And it just reminded me of wine, a good old cup of wine. But um, look for this and give it a try. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. If it smells like wine or not. But it did to me. Um, I won this through work. Back on. Um, it was like CNA's week. And then the next thing that I have here. Is the Red Honey Suckter, Red Honey Suckle Nectar. By Glade. Um, I don't know. I didn't really too much care for that mess. I got it really cheap with coupons and stuff. So like whatever. Um, I have a couple of these. Dagum wax melts because I love wax melts. They're my all-time favorites. Um, got a ton of them. So the first one that I have here is Cranberry Mandarin. OMG. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like a really, really fresh cranberry with a really, really fresh mandarin orange. So there's that. These are Better Homes and Gardens, $2 at Walmart. I'm not really for sure if you can get them. I got these like back in the spring. I think it was back in the spring. And then I got this Mulberry Plum at the Dollar General or Family Dollar, one of the two. These little things work really good. I think these are one or two dollars. I think a dollar or two, I can't remember. But I really did like this. Mulberry is one of my favorite scents of candles and they're hard to find around here. There used to be a place um, that me and my mama used to go at the flea market and it was Mulberry and um, the kids' grandma, um, well, it was her, their great grandma Maddie, which was Justin's um, mamma. Me and her would go and get these candles all the time. Like it was our favorite scent. And God bless her soul. I miss her so much. She was like, Maddie was my sidekick. Like we were the bomb. Like everywhere I'd go, everywhere my kids go, she'd be right behind us. But she was a sassy old lady. But this reminded me of her, the, mul the mulberry plum. And um, anyways, that was one of them from Dollar or Dollar General. And then the next one here is this vanilla caramel. Uh, this one was okay. But the vanilla was good. But the caramel, it was too much. It didn't smell appeasing to me. It wasn't, I was like, no. I don't, I won't get this. Even if it was like toward fall. The combination in this one just sucked. Um, I think it was the caramel. I don't know. But I wouldn't get that again. Um, the next one here is cherry pie. These were... I love this one. Um, a dollar or 88 cents. I can't remember how much. I think they're a dollar, these little ones. Mainstays. But I love the Mainstays ones. They're awesome. Um, oh, this one was my favorite too. Sw Sweet Sangria, guys. Oh, yes. Smells like you're out on the beach with a Sangria. I love those. And this one was like a coffee one that somebody had sent me in like a little tea lot thing. And um, I burned all four of them together because it wasn't that strong. Um, so I just burned all those together. And it came with a thing, so you can't get these anymore. 
Um, the next one here, this one was my favorite too. This one's the cinnamon wax melts. Y'all know cinnamon's my all-time favorite, so every time I see cinnamon, I try to pick them up if they're reasonable priced. Oh my gosh, I just love cinnamon. This reminds me of, y'all know those brooms? Like the big brooms that's like, has like little, t like, um, tough, like, you know, bristles or whatever that you can get at like Kroger or Walmart when it's fall time. That's what this reminds me of. And I used to love when my mama and mama would get these, <clears throat> the brooms. They smell so good. Um... The next thing that I have is a couple of candles. This is the cinnamon roll from Living Colors from Big Lots. And I love this. This smelt really good. It smelt my whole living room up and even like the hallway in here. So I got this a while back and I love that. It was really good. Uh, the next one that I have here is Sun Dried Mango from Dollar Tree. These are okay. Um, if you're looking for a strong scent, you know, they're not recommendable. But if you're looking for a light scent or just to see a candle burning or with a semi lock lock scent, totally recommend me these. Um, I like them. Uh, some of them are hit and misses though. Some of them I won't repurchase. Some of them I will. Uh, this one's the berry, berry one, and this one was pretty good too. I just like these little ones. They're cute and they smell good. Um, the next one here that I have here is uh, champagne toast. There wasn't a whole lot of this left. And I burned it down and I kind of like scraped it out and put the rest in the burner over here. Uh, man, my back is killing me. Oh, it's been hurting all day at work. Um, but I scratched, scraped all that mess out and um, put it in my tea light, or not my tea light warmer. The, the warmer you plug into the wall. But I'm gonna keep this because it's pretty and you know, I don't know, you could use it for something. Just thought it's pretty and sparkly. And then I have a, the Dollar Tree brushes or the balm. I love these. I have like three of them. Highly recommend these. Um, however, I've had this for like months and my hair's kind of thick and like, you know, it's real thick. So I was like kind of going at it and it kind of tore apart. So highly, highly recommend these Dollar Tree brushes. Um, they last for a while and they're worth their buck. A dollar, you know. This one had its share. It's got to go bye bye. Um, I got two of these, um, the Clairol Herbal Color. This stuff's really good. It's very perfumey when you put it in your hair. It's the conditioner. I had these left over from the dyes that I had, and I just recently used them all. So, figured I'd share that with you guys. Um, this Crest 3D White Toothpaste is really good. Got that at Dollar Tree as well. Um, this Rimmel, um, match perfection this stuff's okay but it, it doesn't compare to covergirl covergirl's like the bomb my all-time favorite and um i think i had purchased this because it was like real super cheap and which covergirl's cheap too so but i mean it's okay but you know i would repurchase it again but covergirl's my favorite so i'd go covergirl over this one um i liked well not this one didn't. One of them has a big old stick that goes down into it that you can put on your face. And I'll, it, it wasn't this one. I was thinking that it was, but it wasn't. But that's that. And I got a couple of mascaras here. Um, these are by e.l.f. These were okay. Um, I didn't like the wand. I don't like those ball, the little ball ones for some reason. But I think I gave a dollar or two for these. I think I got them at Dollar Tree. I think they were a dollar. And then this one here. And I didn't like the wand on this one either. It was, I don't know. They kind of hurt my eyes whenever you do it. I don't know what the crap. I wouldn't, I wouldn't repurchase those. Uh, I got a couple of hand sanitizer. This is the winter, winter candy apple. Um, and then this one here is the Marshmallow Fireside OMG. This one's the bomb. I love that. It smells so fallish and so pretty. I've been using a lot of these. I've got to go to the um, to Bath and Body Works. I haven't been in a while. And this is by Elizabeth Mott. Show me your glow uh, shimmer shatter. Shimmer shatter and 
shimmer, shadow, and highlighter. God, I can't talk. Okay, so I had this and it shattered and it was like I pressed it back and I was like using my brush and stuff. I used all that I could, but it was like over here in this crease and it kind of just like went away. So I'm like, you know what? These are the little samples you can get through Ipsy. So I like trying those little samples. And then the last thing here that I have is this Perel Advance um, hand sanitizer. And this one's the B, B Bliss. Well, this came with like a three pack at Dollar Tree. It had this one and two others, a lavender and then a mint one. I've been using these like crazy. They smell good. Uh, this one's with Mandarin Infused Essential Oils. And I think there's a tad in here left. It smells really good. I carry these in my pocket and use them all throughout the day at work. But it smells so good. So there's that. <clears throat> that is my empties. I used to do like monthly empties, but now I just pile it all together and then... You know, whenever I get enough, I'll do videos. I like watching empty videos. And um, I haven't watched any in a, like a long time, which I haven't been on watching videos much here lately. I hadn't had the time. But anyways, guys, hope y'all are having a good day. And um, I'm going to get off here and start making something to eat for me and the kids. And it's still good and sunny outside, um, which I can't go back out there because I got way too hot today earlier. Um, I came in and took a cold shower like I was extremely hot but I did get a little tan which y'all probably can't see because but I did get some tan up in here um I was like behind on my tan because I hadn't been tanning much here lately but anyways I'm gonna get off here I'm up here rambling and carrying on I think I'm gonna go get me a cup of joe um I need some and I need to lose some weight but I just I can't get motivated like I'm I don't even know how much I weigh now. Like, who cares, you know? I mean, I care, but I don't. It's like just pressing toward the goal to lose some. Um, I need to lose, I guess, about 30, let's see. About 10, 15 pounds. Um, yeah, I do. But... I just can't get motivated. I like my donuts. I like my sweets. You know, I like I like cheesy stuff. I love freaking Mexican. I mean, it's like, I don't know what it is, but us people that work in the nursing field, and I'm talking about my facility, like all of us ladies love to eat. And it's just like, I don't know if it's something that like, I don't know what it is, but we love to eat. And, um, which for one, I'm around food all day long, like, you know, feed, like feeding people and handing out food. And I'm like, I'm hungry. I need to get me something to eat, get me some chips, get me something. And they always have food at the grill at work. Like every day it's either like sweet day or it's like food day. And I'm like, can't pass it up, you know? And then they give us free meals from time to time. And I lost my weight and then it came back on me. I'm like, whatever. We only live life once though. You know, as long as I'm not huge and humongous obese, you know, I shouldn't worry about it. But I need, I do need to slack off of sweets and stuff. But um, it'll happen eventually, I guess. But anyways, that's off subject. But that was on my mind. Um, it is what it is. I need, I really need to start walking and stuff and I'm planning on doing that sometime soon. I had planned on it last week and I planned on it this week and I'm like, no. But maybe when it starts getting a little cooler, I'm going to start uh, walking every day. Down here, there's a park that's like, it goes straight and all the way around and it's real pretty. It's like right on the, uh, the lake. So I think I'm going to start doing that. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to let you guys go and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.